Con la ola. Hola, hola. Hello. Hello, good evening. Ah, uh, good evening. How are you? How are you? Uh, give me a second. Give me. Uh, please. Hello. Hi. Hi. Are you able to? Hi. Can you listen? Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Good evening. Sorry, I have some issues with um uh, soon and and now that I open soon I cannot uh, go in my files but I already have it. So how are you today? How are you? I am fine. I ah, do. good, excellent. So, uh, excellent. Uh, okay. So yesterday, the last class that we saw, it was we were listening and practicing uh, contractions, right? Right. Okay, so so I'm not that lost then. Okay, um, let me just go over here. Okay, this is the activity from lesson two. So I uh, mean uh, the final the final class. So uh, we were practicing how to pronounce. A, a negative contractions, okay? And using one syllable, what is the one that we have over there? What is the first one? Uh, what is the first one? On the ones that we have? Aren't. Aren't, no. okay. Aren't, uh -huh. and then we have? No. Weren't. Weren't. Uh huh. And then we have. Don't. Don't. And then we have. Can't. Can't. Okay, good. Excellent. You're doing the finals uh, T sound over there. So remember, it's aren't, uh, weren't, uh, don't, can't. And two syllables. What are the two syllables? We have is not. Uh huh. And the contraction. And the contraction. Uh, you think to see isn't. isn't. And the other one is. And the other one is. Uh huh. Wasn't. 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 Okay. Wasn't. And the other one is. The other That's one is, nice. doesn't and 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 didn't didn't okay those are the one syllables over there let's listen how they um, how they pronounce this one we just review page one hundred two exercise four pronunciation. Negative contractions. Part A. Listen and practice. One syllable. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. 
isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. Okay, those are uh, negative contractions. And what is the other one? What is the other one that we have? Let's listen. Then I will have like uh, six, eight volunteers to read the statements one by one. Page 102, exercise four, part B. Listen and practice. He didn't eat dinner because he wasn't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. This isn't my swimsuit. I can't swim. They weren't here yesterday, and they aren't here today. Uh, I need like four, uh, like six or eight volunteers. Raise your hand. Okay, Glenda Elizabeth, read number one. He didn't. Mm, I didn't eat dinner because he wasn't hungry. He wasn't hungry. Good. Uh, the next one, who would like to do it? Raise your hand. Uh huh. I don't. Okay, Julio. No, Julio, let's do it. Okay. Uh, I don't like coffee, and she doesn't like tea. Like tea. Number three, the next one. Who would like to do it? Volunteers. Tea. Uh huh. Raise your hand. Ana Gabriela, please read number three. Permítame. This is on my swim. I can swim. I can swim. Okay. Uh, Robert, Alberto, read number four. They weren't here yesterday and they aren't here today. Okay, so they weren't here yesterday and they aren't here today. Okay, so those are some things that we have. Uh, just let me um, erase that one. The drawings that I did. Okay, we already practiced this one, which is a conversation. Uh, who would like to say, Elsa Cecilia, can you tell the class what do you see on the picture? Miriam, Janet, can you tell the class? What, what do you see on the picture? What's going on? Um, it's a salon. It's a salon. Okay, you can say that. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And what do you see over there? He's cutting the hair of, of, of Melissa. Okay. Uh, he's cutting the hair of Melissa. Good. Okay. 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 So uh, let's listen to that. Thank you, Miriam. Thank you very much. Well done. Okay, let's listen to the conversation and see what's, oh, the word is Texas, not Texas. Okay, so. Page 102, exercise five, conversation. I grew up in Texas. Listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Were you born there? Yeah, I was born in Dallas. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 2000. How old were you then? I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Really? Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. So, what do you think? Well, uh... Okay, so let's listen and pay attention to the uh, how 
uh, their English sound, okay? Page 102, exercise 5, conversation. I grew up in Texas. Listen and practice. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Were you born there? Yeah, I was born in Dallas. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 2000. How old were you then? I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Really? Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, and I love it. So, what do you think? Well, uh... What do you notice about their English? What do you notice about English, I mean, Chuck and Melissa's English? Uh-huh. Any ideas? What do you notice about their English? Do you think that Chuck speaks English as a second language or he is a native speaker? Uh huh. What about Melissa? Does Melissa speak English as a, as a native language or she speaks English as a second language? She speaks English as um, a second, second Yeah, she, uh -huh, she is, is, speaks English as a second, uh -huh, second language. So her mother language, her mother tongue is not English. He speaks, she speaks English as we do. And what about Chuck? And what about Chuck? Uh-huh. And what about Chuck? Yes. Does he speak English as a native speaker or he speaks English as a second language? Uh-huh. Give me just a, a guess. Uh -huh. He was born in Dallas. Ah, he was born in Dallas. So he speaks English. Uh huh. Uh, he, oh no, he is not speaking. He is. Uh, native speaker. The, why am I mentioning this? This is important because you will find people with different accents around the world. If you one day go to the United States, you will uh, have to deal with people with different accents, okay? This is important. Some people might not believe it, but it's really do important. That's good about these programs, for example, this program, that you listen to people with different accents from different parts of the world. So, and uh, so Melissa, I mean, uh, yes, Melissa speaks English as a second language, as okay. we do, okay? But Chuck is a native speaker. So this is very, very important, okay? Uh, Maya, you think that is not, but it, it does. It's very important. Let's listen and see what is the discussion about it. Page 102, exercise 5, conversation. I grew up in Texas. Listen and practice. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Were you born there? Yeah. I was born in Dallas. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 2000. How old were you then? 
I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Really? Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, and I love it. So, what do you think? Well, uh... Uh, Marvin, what is Chuck's uh, principal occupation? What is Chuck's principal occupation? Or what did he study? Uh, he was a study actor. Okay, he wanted to be an actor. Okay, good. Excellent. And uh, and what about Melissa, uh, uh, Tatiana? How was she when she uh, went to college? How old was Melissa when, uh, when she went to college? Uh huh. Let me give you a hand. Uh, I know, no, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, how old was, uh, was uh, Chuck when she went to college? I'm sorry. Uh-huh. How old was she? Was uh was he? He was eighteen. He was eighteen. Okay. So and over there, what was her major? What was her major? Drama. And he was uh, okay. Drama. He was an actor. Okay. And uh, okay, drama. Okay. So there, uh, the conversation introduces, we already did last, uh, some time ago. Uh, let me just erase that one. Okay. Uh, now we learn how to write. So the conversation, the conversation introduces, uh -huh. what is the question? Where, where, did you grow up? where did you grow up? Ah, where did you grow up? And you say, Mr. Lopez, where did you grow up? I grew up in Chalatenango. What is the other question? And when did you come to Los Angeles? And Chuck says? Yeah. And Chuck says? In two? In 2000. In 2000, he was born in uh, he was born in Dallas, and he came into tax. If you say, Mr. Lopez, uh, when did you come to San Salvador? I came to San Salvador in 19 uh, 1993, actually, long time ago. And uh, the other question is, and the other question is. Uh, how, old? How, how old? Yes. Read it. Uh, los dos leanlo, no importa. Uh -huh. How old were you? <laughs> and then it says, how old was Chuck? How old was the uh -huh. And how old was Chuck when he moved to Los Angeles? He was... 18 years. It, it was 18. I was 18 also. I uh, know I was 16 when I moved to San Salvador. And then uh, another question. What was your major? What was your major? Okay. And the other question. Uh, I My major, it was agricultural. So I wanted to be a agronomist or a vet, but I couldn't. So why do you become a hairstylist? And when do you say, why did you, when you use the word, why, the answer will be? What will be the because. answer? Because. Because. That's an, a reason. You're given a reason. Okay. So the conversation is introducing WH questions. We already did, and I believe that I changed the activities. Okay. Just uh, refreshing your main. So we use where for what? Uh huh. Okay. Uh, when, what do we use 
uh, what do we use where for? Do you remember? Where as for? Yes, yes, yes. Where as uh, for? Uh, place. Places, good. And what as for? General. General. Information. Information, good. And and when when as for? Time. The time. Why and oops, let me and why as for what when do we use why? What do we why as for? For a reason. For a reason, for a reason, yes, for a reason. And we have over here how. How as for? When do we use how? How old? How old? I'm sorry. How old? As for? Da -da -da -da. Who has the answer? Who has the answer? You see, you can see the answer over here, actually. So look, and what is the response of how? Hi. I uh huh. Go ahead, uh, Miss. Uh, I was eighteen. Yeah. I was eighteen. So we use mm -hmm. how old? Four. Uh, how old last four? Yes. Uh, uh -huh. for let me put it here for can you see the word over there yes okay how old as for uh-huh for what For for this one for age remember so ah uh, yes how old last for age okay how old are you Elsa how old are you Marilyn how old are you Don Julio okay. so and uh, then say I am. I was. Okay. I uh, am. No, six. right now. Right now. How old are you? Right now. Okay. Right now. Uh -huh. I, uh -huh. I, am, I am 65 years old. Okay. 65 years old. I am, uh, I am uh, uh, 67. Okay. Uh, one of the uh, very, very common mistake when you, uh, people ask for age as uh, people who are learning English that some people say I have. It's not a problem to say I have. The only thing that we have to correct it. The correct form is to use the verb to be. I am uh, 70, 17, she is 19, they are 25 years old, okay? That's correct. Another very common mistake in English, this is a general information that people, when you come to a place, you say, uh, good night. No, when you come into a place, uh, you have to say good evening. But when you go, you have to say good night, bye bye. Okay, that's a very common mistake by you. It's not a problem, it's acceptable. Even uh, people who know about the language, they say it's acceptable, okay? But you have to correct it that one. Okay, so no sure. problem. Yes, Mister. Uh, can you write what is for why? Ah, okay. So my pleasure. Please. Yes, no problem. That's what I'm here for. Uh, why, right? Uh, why yes. uh, as for a uh, um, as as for a reason. Mm -hmm. 
And something really important that you say, why are you studying English? For example, let's say, let's say a question over there. Why are you studying, stu studying English? So your answer will be in the answer. Let me put my keyboard in English. My, uh, in my answer, I am going to use which one? Which word to begin? So I use why in the question, but in the answer, which word or what word do I use, have to use over there? Why are you studying English, guys? We're going to say in my in my uh -huh. case in my case and I want to learn. Okay, good, excellent. Okay, but you have to begin with because I think uh, because and then you say for example because uh better opportunities in your case because you want to learn so and and then you say because blah 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 okay why uh why do you have a job because i need to get money in order to live okay uh why do you go to the beach uh no like uh, uh for example, I didn't like the movie. And I say, why didn't you like the movie? Oh, because it was boring, for example. Okay. So that's the, that's the thing over there. So let's listen to this one. Uh, let me erase everything. Okay, let's listen. Page 103. Exercise six, grammar focus. WH questions with did, was, and were. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. What did your father do there? He worked in a bank. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 2000. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. Okay, one important thing, and sorry that I interrupted, that I want to show over there. Maybe I skipped last time that I want to show over there. And uh, pay attention to the word, uh, to the, uh, the questions we did. Look over there. Where did you grow up? What did your father do there? When did you uh, come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a, a hairstylist? What do you notice about that? We use the auxiliary, uh, the, the, the auxiliary verb, did plus what? Plus the simple past or the simple present form of the, of the main verb. Uh huh. For answer, for answer in past tense. Yes. Okay. But we use did. Uh, I mean, uh, let me see if I can uh, write with this one. Uh, we use uh, did plus the simple form of the verb. And look at the question. And look at the questions. At the answers. Change uh, the past tense. Change the past tense. Why is it, is it, what does it make it past tense, the question? Because the helping verb did, which is the past, the past tense of do. So remember, uh, do, did, done, okay? So that's why, so the past. Now, so we use, uh, in the questions, we use did plus the uh, simple form of the main verb, which is grow up, do, come, become. Let's listen to the second part. 
Where were you born? I was born in Dallas. When were you born? I was born in 1982. How old were you in 2000? I was 18. What was your major in college? Drama. I was an actor for five years. Well, here, uh, in both cases, we use, in both cases, uh, we use uh, the past tense of be in this type of questions, okay? So where were you born? And what is this, the answer? What is the answer? I was born in Dallas. I was born in Dallas. When were you born? Uh -huh. When were you born? When he, he, he was born in 1982. I was born in 1982. Uh, how old were you in 2000? How old were he you? Was, uh, uh, I it, was 18. Uh, yes, he says I was 18. Good. And what was your major in college? Drama. I, I was, was oh, an actor for five years. I was an actor. It doesn't mean that he's an actor or he's, oh, he's not an actor anymore. Uh, excuse me, I, I can hear you the question. Uh -huh. uh, the sentence is saying that he is uh, still an actor or he is not an actor anymore. He he is, he is uh, uh, studying before. Ah, he studied drama. But he says, I was an actor for five years. Is he still an actor or is not an actor? What do you think, uh, Robert? Oh. Okay. Uh-huh. Anybody? <laughs> Anybody? Okay. Uh huh. Uh, ta uh, Tatiana, what do you think? Or Glenda, what do you think? He is an actor still, or he is not an actor anymore? Drama. I was an actor for five years. Um. Okay, he's not an actor anymore. Remember that he is, what does he do? What is his profession now? Chuck, what is uh, Chuck's? We are talking about uh, Chuck. These are the examples from the conversation. Una de las cosas, mm -hmm. niños, en, en la good Spanish, es que los ejemplos en la parte gramatical se toman de las conversaciones, ¿ok? Por eso estoy preguntando eso. And another important thing in a good Spanish, ¿ok? I'm sorry, my Spanish. Es muy importante. Eh, muchos expertos, el inglés lo, lo comparan con las matemáticas porque debe de ser creativo, dinámico, ¿ok? Siempre debemos eh, ver el... el, el La idea central de las oraciones, okay? That's why I am asking this one, okay? No, no, no lo estoy haciendo por otra cosa, okay? Esto es normal, okay? So we have to see the general sense of the, or, or meaning of the state of the things that we are talking. So Chuck is not an actor anymore. He, right now, at this point, he is, uh, he is what? A hair... Hair, stylist, hair uh, a, a hair stylist, a hairdresser. So he was. So what was your major in college? Drama. I was an actor for five years. So he's saying not anymore. Okay. So uh, that's what I answered. So two things. It's important that you see, find out. You will find out people with different accents when you talk, when, when you travel, when you speak to people. And two, 
Uh, English is, has to be dynamic, very creative. Tenemos que usar mucho la lógica, ¿ok? No tanto la memorización como lo trataban de enseñar antes. Es más la lógica. Sí, hay que memorizar verbos y algunas cosas. Yes. Para esto se tiene a través de la práctica. Ok. That's why, that's why uh, I was asking that one, guys. It's not another reason. Ok. No otro. Ok. Yes, no. Uh, WH questions. Uh, this is the formation. We already have it. Yeah, hello. Uh, we already have it. What is the question over there? What is the question? When, when did you come to Los Angeles? When, to, uh, when did you come to Los Angeles? Uh huh. And then uh, the answer. Uh huh. And the, another question using using was or where? What? So he said, uh, when did you come to Los Angeles? In 2005, more or less. Okay. What's the other question? What's the other question? What was your what? favorite subject uh -huh. in, the, in the school? And what was your favorite subject? My favorite subject it was uh, sciences. And, and recreo, por supuesto. <laughs> and recreo also, that was my favorite. What was your favorite subject? Was it English? Was it science? Was mathematics? Uh huh. What was your favorite subject, guy? Mm, uh huh. My favorite subject, sociales. Ah, social studies. And okay, so yeah. social yeah. studies, history. In English, we call it history. Okay, because it talks about the things things over there. Okay, using uh, one important thing, very important, we use WH questions to look for information. Okay, why does por eso respondemos? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Chalatenango. Uh, when did you come to San Salvador? I came to San Salvador in 2000, uh, in 1983. Okay, uh, how were, uh, and, um, uh, why did you become a teacher? Because that was the only opportunity for me. Okay, so so looking for information. How old were you when you went to college? I was 19 years old. Okay, so to the university. Okay, so this is, we have some questions over there. And, uh, Okay. He says, when I uh, remember, I think we did this one. I'm not sure. Uh, let me just disactivate that. Okay. There you have the questions over there. Number one, it says, what is the question? When and where, where, where were you born? Okay. And the answer? I I was I was born I was born in 19 Uh huh I was born in 1983 in San Salvador let's make it a real for us for example Okay number 2 where did you grow up? Oh, uh huh. I grew up in San Salvador. Okay, and the answer over there? Yes. Uh, raise your hands. Who would like to answer number two? A, B, C, D. Uh, raise your hand. Okay, Marvin, Rudy. Uh, uh huh, Marvin. Where did you grow up? Uh, what would what would be the I answer? I grew, grew up in Tokyo. Okay, I grew up in Tokyo. Didn't I put the answer? Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> okay, I grew up in Tokyo. Good. Who would like to answer number three? When did 
your star school? Uh -huh. And what would be the answer? Ready. What would be the answer, Miss? I was it. When did you start school? The literal G. Uh -huh. And what is literal G? Uh, I entered first grade in I heard, uh, um, 18. Um, 18, 18, 90, 90. Uh, no, 80. 19, 90. No, uh, it was my mistake. 80, 90, 90 80, 80, 80, 89. 89. Yes. 1989. In 1989. Who would like to answer number four? How old were you then? How old were you? Who would like to answer number four? Letter A. Uh -huh. I was six. I was, I was six. six. I was six. Uh -huh. Who would like to answer number five? How was your first day at a school? age it was a little scary i was a little scary okay i was a little scary yes who was your first friend in the school her name was uh okay her name was chumiko mm -hmm. what was she like B. She was really shy. Uh, she was really uh, shy. Uh, uh, shy. Why do you take this class? Uh huh. E. My English wasn't very good. Okay, my English wasn't very wasn't very good. Now, eh, okay, I will ask you, you, I will tell your name and you ask me the questions to me. I'm going to model what are you going to do and your and the breakout room, okay? Okay, uh, Glenda Elizabeth, number one, ask me the question. Uh, okay, when, when, where, where you from? I was born in 1967, and I was born in Chalatenango. Okay. And uh, Abel, Herminio, mm -hmm. number two. Abel? Where did, where did you grow, grow, grow up? up? Uh -huh. I, I, grew, I grew up. I grew up in back there in Chalatenango. Eh, Ana Gabriela, number three. Okay. I am sure. No, the question, the question, the question. Ah. Uh, when when did you when start you, school? When did you start school? I started school in 1972. Eh, good. Uh, Miriam, number uh, four. How old were you then? I was seven years old. And Claudia Elizabeth, number uh, number five. Claudia. Who was your first friend in school? Ah, uh, my first day in school. Um, I don't remember very well, but I think it was a little scary. <laughs> okay, good. I don't remember very well. Crisia, uh, number number six. Who uh, his name was Raul. Uh, Jacqueline Lorena. 
Hi, teacher. Hi, uh, number seven. So my first friend in the school, it was Raul. Uh -huh, number seven. Uh, what was he? He? Like. Like. Uh, he was uh, he was awesome. He was a good friend. He was very dynamic. Okay, good. And uh, Marvin, numbers number eight. Why did you take this class? Well, I had to because I had to start school and I was little. And I was in elementary school. Okay, this is the way I will send you to break up rooms for a couple of minutes uh, in group of trios. Um, I always send you in a group of trios in order to, uh, well, in order to make it more than I'm. No, it, I will send you in pairs this time, okay? So for example, number one, I will rephrase the answers. Uh, when and where I was born. I was born in Chalatenango in 1967. Uh, uh, I grew, I grew up in Chalatenango. I started school in 1972. I was seven years old. Uh, voy respondiendo las preguntas. Um, uh, my first day at a school, I don't remember, but I think it was a little scary. Uh, my best friend in, uh, over there, it was Raul. Uh, he was Raul. He was a uh, uh, he was a really nice guy, and we used to play a lot. And um, I had to take this class because I had to start a school, so I was seven years old, okay? So I will send you, uh, like, let me see, 10 minutes in the breakout rooms in peers, and you discuss this one, okay? But please, again, practice and talk, okay? How many participants do I have? 18. So that will be in peers. Uh, that will be how many breakout rooms? Uh, 18. Uh, and nine. Okay. Nine breakout rooms. I will send you, yeah, uh, 10 minutes. No, eight minutes. Ask the questions. You had the questions over there in your manual, right? Yes? Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, good. Um, okay, you will receive the invitation right now. Accept it and discuss. Talk about yourself using these questions. Hi guys, you're talking about yourself using the questions. Abel, you ask Carla, for example, the question number one, when and where were you born? Carla, when and where were you born? And Carla respond, and then uh, Carla, you ask Abel. Uh, 